We're now up to part 18 of this series where we're building a quiz application with AngularJS and in this video we're going to implement the logic required to mark the quiz and evaluate how well the user's done. In this part we're going to create this mark quiz function on our quiz metric service. So we'll just hop into our quiz metric service and I'll create a function called mark quiz. And give ourselves a bit more space. And now to mark the quiz, we need to get the correct answers. So we'll get the correct answers from our data service and we'll assume they're coming from an API. So to do that, we're going to need to inject our data service into our quiz metrics factory and we'll do that by quiz metrics dot dollar sign inject equals and then we'll give it data service and then into here we will inject data service and now we've got access to the data service and we can go into the data service and add in some more JSON. So we'll add it in at the top. Of the index of the correct answers. And again, we would typically get this from an API, but we're just going to paste that in there. And then we're going to need to add it into the object. So we'll say correct answers and that equals correct answers. So now anything using the data service will have access to the correct answers. So now we'll reopen the quiz metrics service and now that we have access to the data service we can access the correct answers so now we can come down here and we can say for example quiz obj dot correct answers equals data service give it a capital D data service dot correct answers and now we're going to add up here the correct answers and we'll just set that to an empty array for now and while we're up here we can also add in the mark quiz function which will equal mark quiz and another variable that we'll add in is the number of correct answers that the user got which will default to zero and now we'll scroll back down to our mark quiz function and we'll continue writing so what we want to do is loop through all the questions and then compare the selected answer that the user gave to the correct answer so for far i equals zero i is less than data service dot quiz questions dot length i plus plus and then in here we can say if data service dot quiz questions I dot selected equals data service dot correct answers I then run this bit of code. So we want to set data service dot quiz questions 
i dot correct. So remember we had the correct flag inside the each object. So we want to set that to true. And then we'll say quiz obj dot num correct plus plus. So we'll just increment the number of correct. Else data service dot quiz questions I dot correct equals false. So that is our mark quiz function complete. So now all we have left to do is create our results page, which we will trigger with an ng show when the quiz metrics changes the result state to true. And we will hide everything else and we'll do that in the next video. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write up for every single video that I put out on YouTube and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.